All right, you tubers, welcome back to War Thunder Ground Forces with the Angry Nerd. And today, I thought we would take a look at the American M56 Scorpion. But before we get started, I'd like to bring your attention to the skin that's on this vehicle. It was created by CMD Nomad, and I will leave a link down in the video description to his live WarThunder.com profile so that you can find this skin and many other wonderful skins that he has created. Now the M56 Scorpion was an American unarmored air mobile self-propelled anti-tank gun armed with a 90 millimeter gun manufactured from 1953 to 1959 by the Cadillac Motor Car Division of General Motors for use by the U.S. Airborne Forces. The M56 was lightweight and extremely maneuverable on any ground type. It was powered by a 200 horsepower Continental high octane gasoline engine, propelling the vehicle cross country at a respectable 28 miles per hour. The M56 featured a unique track and suspension. It used pneumatic road wheels with run flat tires. Pneumatic road wheels were chosen because they were much lighter compared to the standard solid steel road wheels. The Scorpion, like its namesake, was an ambush predator. It was able to fire and scuttle back to cover extremely quickly and engage targets at ranges up to a thousand meters. The sting in this Scorpion's tail was the M54 90mm gun which was especially designed for the vehicle. The gun, though it operated and performed as designed, was also somewhat of a problem. The force of the recoil was amplified on such a small vehicle, to the extent that it would almost lift the vehicle three feet off the ground when fired. Firing the gun straight forward was not much of a problem bar the intense recoil. However, should the tank need to engage a target to the extreme left or right of the gun's traverse, it ran the risk of seriously injuring the crew. In fact, if the commander stayed in his seat with the gun aimed to the far right, he would receive a recoil breech block to the face. As such, it was recommended by the operator's manual that all unnecessary crew abandon the vehicle when the gun was fired in this way. The M56 saw limited combat service with U.S. forces during the Vietnam War. It was deployed by the 173rd Airborne Brigade, which mostly used it in a supportive role. In 1970, the M56 was effectively replaced by the better armed and armored M551 Sheridan. The M56 was exported to the Republic of Korea, Spain, and Morocco. Morocco was the only export customer which had used the M56 Scorpions in actual combat. Now in War Thunder Arcade, the M56 is a rank 4 tank destroyer with a battle rating of 6.3. It has a 350 horsepower engine propelling the 7 ton vehicle to a top speed of 30 miles per hour. It comes equipped with the 90 millimeter M54 cannon. The recommended ammo load for this vehicle is to keep full 29 rounds. Now I have it assigned to an expert crew with a crew level of 150, which gives me a reload of eight seconds. With a premium account, it has an XP reward of 380% and a silver line reward of 150%. So what do I think of the M56 Scorpion here in War Thunder? Well, they say a picture is worth a thousand words. How about a short montage? Here you go. Oh, my God. 
Well, that about sums up most of my experience with the M56 Scorpion. And I would have loved to given up on this vehicle a long time ago, but I'm persistent if nothing else. So I stuck it out and got you a couple of games. Here they are. Oh, right, we picked up Frozen Pass. We are on the southeast section of the map. I'm going to take the eastern most spawn point. Here we go. All right. Well, we're going to come up to the top of this hill and see if we can snipe anybody at the beginning of the match. Get behind this rock a little bit. That sounds really close. Hit him in the cannon barrel. And... Good lord. It's... It's a crowd. It's a crowd. Let's see. No. Wait a minute. Let's take a look over here. There we go. Anybody else? Okay, let's go find something else to do. They have already gotten C. aircraft. Let's see. Nope, you got that guy. Let's see if I can use my speed around here and flank these guys. Go! Don't shoot me. I mean, I had a shot there, but I didn't want to pull up in front of both of them. There we go. Let's see. I get up here and get this guy as well. So it looks like he already got taken out. Just cap this. Oh, I hear gun aircraft gunfire. Time to move. You just can't, you can't stay, you can't stay, man, they're after you. We got a vehicle coming over here. Oh, see, after me here. 
is after me. coming. Aircraft in the air. Come back up to this vantage point up here on the hill. Quick look. Not really seeing anybody on the map. There we go. We just didn't have people in a place to see them. And I really don't have a good shot on any. Ooh, what's that? Oh, that was lucky. Got his gunner, so I should have plenty of time to finish him off. Here we go. Oh, man. Machine guns can hurt. I want to go and shoot him, but... Let's see. I can hide behind this little piece of rock and get a shot somewhere. Oh. Nope. I thought maybe it might would go through the house, but it did not. They have taken C again. So we're going to head back down to C. And we do still have aircraft in the air. Taking C back, it looks like. We have an enemy vehicle heading toward C. So, let's see. Oh, he might come around this way. Where is he? Oh, shoot, there he is. Oh, he tracked me. Should out reload him. There we go. They have B and A. We 
got a couple of guys pushing our southernmost spawn point. So, oh no, more aircraft. I didn't really want to go this way, but... I didn't want to stay going in the straight in the area I was going, so... We're going to try to work our way around. Maybe we can flank these guys. Alright, we got uh, Jackson up ahead of us. So that's good. A couple of guys attacking here on this flank. Dang it! <sighs> I just couldn't get settled down for the turret shot quick enough. Just come back in on this closest spawn and uh, deal with that guy. Somebody capping the B cap. Are they still here? Oh, yes, they are. This thing shakes around so much, it's really likely to miss if you fire on the moon. So, ah. You kind of have to stop and stabilize the weapon before you can take a good shot, and sometimes that takes too much time. Let's see. I would have got his gunner or like his turret crew or something. And I came back up for the kill shot, but I didn't. And he'd have been waiting on me. Oh, yes. Ah, he's moving. Okay, here we go. Oh, dang, he got my gunner. I got nipped from the back and they killed my gunner right when I was getting ready to shoot the guy. Dang it. So, somebody is up on A. I'll see if I can use my speed to get up there, but we're, we're not going to have enough time. Yep. It's done. That's it. I 
that's all she wrote. Let's take a look, see what we did. Shadow Strike Streak, Teamwork, Eye for an Eye, Tank Rescue, Avenger, Professional, One Shot, The Best Squad. Oh, eight ground units destroyed, 83% battle activity, but we died. So, we'll try again. Okay, we picked up Poland. We are on the eastern side of the map. We're gonna flank. Just what's best. What's best with this vehicle? Got a nice clip, 30 miles per hour, and across here. Luckily that fence didn't kill me. I see on the mini-map that at least one vehicle is, enemy vehicle is flanking. So we're going to come on around to this side and see if we can spot him. See his position on the mini-map. I see a little glow there through the trees. I guess that's how you pronounce it. I have no idea. But anyway, that's a nice vehicle to take out. Let's come up here. See what we can see. Ah, it is Cupola. We're going to switch. APCBC. So we're getting some side shots here. There we go. I hit Woo. I hit nothing okay so they are aware of my presence plane plane is flying around Got another guy. 
down here in the corner of the lake. Oh, oh that was a friendly. Oh, I don't have a shot on him. Come on. Come out, come out. Wherever you are. We're gonna see if we can get him with an air attack then. All right. We got rockets. And a P forty seven. Some anti aircraft fire coming in. And we did not do anything but tracking. So, so I'm going to have to come down here and deal with him. Where's the out where I can see him? Oh, that's somebody else. Oh, there he is. I set him on fire, I think, maybe. Ah, he smoked up. He smoked, he totally smoked up. Oh, I missed the... Is that STRV? Missed him again. Kind of scared of him. There we go. Uh-oh. Dang it, dang it. Get my gunner. Oh, he's coming back again. Dang, dang, dang. Oh. Biatch. Tried to kamikaze me. I hate that. I hate planes. <laughs> but we're alive. We're replacing a crew member. Tank is repaired. Now, is that FP4202 still down here? Do not see him. And I don't know whether he got killed or not because I was running for my life and not looking at the battle's results. So, let's see, what do we got? He's moving. Need to find somebody stationary. Let's 
see about this is. Yes. There we go. That would have been a kill shot right there. And I got nothing. Let's see. Maybe up a little more on the turret. Too high. That's turret crew. be a little lower. There we go. Can we get one more? No. Yay! I survived. <laughs> All right. Ace game and survived. I'm happy with this, with the M56. Tank rescuer, sniper, professional. All right. There we go. No deaths. Seventh place in the team. XP and credits. A premium bonus so yeah not all that great just looking at the battle log I'm kind of curious if that FV 4202 died or not I don't know I didn't see it but yeah the M56 Scorpion. Um, yeah. Like I say, the gun is good. The recoil is terrible. Um, you have more recoil when you fire the APC BC round than you do when you fire the Heat FS round. Um, you have less penetration with the APC BC you get more damage when you do penetrate um, what I usually do is I'll start my load out with the heat in case I run up on something that is facing me that I need to make sure I punch through and then I'll switch to the APC BC um, if I get some side shots or whatever but uh, yeah I think I'm pretty much done with this vehicle I'm happy to have it off of my to-do list if you've liked this look at the M56 Scorpion, hit that like button. If you didn't, don't. Subscribe if you would. But as always, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Nerd out.